Well, let's go down to Dan on the field, and he knows what's at stake now because it's his, it's his job now, he and Severino, and uh, to kind of keep things going for this ball club down the stretch. And he's been hitting pretty good, Dan, these last 13 games, 300 batting average. He has, Johnny, really the last handful of weeks for Jose Lobaton. He hasn't gotten a lot of playing time, but when he has gotten the opportunity, Jose's been delivering. His numbers have been strong, and it looks like it's going to be a platoon now, Jose Lobaton, against right-handed starting pitching as he's a little better from the left side and his right ankle injury bugs him a little bit more from the right side of the plate. So he'll hit against right-handed pitching, and then Pedro Severino will probably start against left-handed starting pitching. But Lobatone will get the bulk of the work. And as you said, he's been playing really well offensively of late. People think of the defensive side of things with Jose Lobatone, but there you see his numbers, his last eight starts, 333 batting average, few extra base hits, and he's been swinging it well. Rick Shu telling me around the cage today, he's loved the BP sessions that Lobie's had over the last handful of weeks. Feels that he's really putting together some good work at the dish, and hopefully that can carry forward now over the latter part of this week. And then as we get into the postseason, Jose Lobatone going through kind of a range of emotions now. Frustrated for Wilson Ramos, his countryman and good friend, but excited for the opportunity he now has. One of the best hitters in the league. Uh, my teammate, I think, is... Uh, you don't want, no matter if I'm a catcher, you don't want to see your friends uh, get something like that. And uh, I passed uh, uh, like three years ago, something kind of like that. And then it was really bad for me. And uh, hopefully it can get better soon and see you next year playing again. What was it like for you to see him in so much pain last night? It was, uh, I've seen with pain before, uh, he get beat all the time in the game, but uh, he always stay in the game. So as soon as I saw him like calling the trainer, it was, it was that moment that you like, oh, something really bad happened, because he always stay in the game. And um, really sad for me, and I feel not only for me, it's not for the team. And uh, like I say, we, uh, we're praying for him and that he can get better soon. You don't want it to happen like this with Wilson going down injured, but now you get an opportunity to, to play regularly in the postseason. How um, excited are you for that opportunity? Well, it's the second time that happened to me. Uh, my first year here, uh, Willie got hurt, and uh, it was the same way. And, and it's not what I want, but it's the opportunity that, uh, that, I, that I have to take. And, and it's a lot of um, responsibility from, uh, for me. Uh, to play, to do my best and help the team to to stay and and win the World Series. Yes, sir. Jose Lobaton has playoff experience in 2013 for the Tampa Bay Rays. Game three, hit a walk-off home run off Koji Uehara for the Red Sox. Took uh, the Rays deeper into that series against Boston, so he's had playoff experience, playoff success. He won't be intimidated by the big stage, Johnny, and he's going to be a part of that big stage now with Wilson Ramos out.